Hello everyone, welcome back again to my channel and this is a uh, .NET Mayu series and uh, we'll do in this session actually we'll last session we have done you know delete okay so delete without confirmation but yeah in this session we'll see how we can delete but make sure user can get confirmation once they confirm then it should be delete okay because that is a very important because delete is a very sensitive uh, event okay so that's why we have to make sure so whatever user can delete that should not delete directly okay so let's get a start to demo so see this is a same example whatever we achieve in dotnet my series and once you click delete so you will get that confirmation okay if you cancel so nothing will happen but if you go to delete and yes it should be delete okay see it's gone okay so let's get started implementation okay so see this is same example whatever we achieve in this dot and my series okay and before proceeding i especially recommend go to my channel if you know new in this dot net my to go to my you know channel and you will see that you know dot net my series here actually i there's a lots of session actually from starting to end okay so go to there and let's get implementation then okay what need to do so let's open that my dot main dot jml page okay so see here is our uh, all the design of the list bind of design and where is our view model so here is of that main view model okay so here what we have done in last so we have created a delete event okay and in this delete event what we have done last time just we call we get that you know configuration uh, base url getting from here and then pass make it a url and call that service and service actually trying to delete and then load the data okay before we start this event what need to do we have to get that you know user confirmation so how we can do that it is very easy very simple dotted my give it says very you know nice flexibility over here so how we can do that just uh, call a uh, await okay there's a wait method uh, await uh, keyword and then call it to application application okay and this inside the application use that current and then main page actually see this is our main page okay so we use this view model and this view model basically we use inside main page that you know that code behind file okay so see this view model is called this a main page so whatever page we are actually you want to use so that page you have to specify okay so i'll be using that main page so i'll just using that main page and then it's called a display alert okay and this is a display alert and then what need to do there is a c there is a parameter it's a four parameter first is uh, passing the title okay what is the title you want okay for overload method title then message then cancel okay then if you go to another one it is saying title message cancel and then overload flow okay and then third one also see here like see we want this one actually we want to pass title then message whatever message we want to show and it is accepted or it is cancelled okay so those we want to hear so let me pass a title like uh, delete confirmation okay this is our title and message would be you know are you sure to delete like that whatever you know good bad so that we can pass it over here okay so let me okay so are you sure to delete and this is not this overload we have to use this overload okay so this is accept so if it accept so what you get we get yes on the accept if yes so then it is accept if it is fail so that means obviously cancel okay so cancel that is fine okay so it is see this method what we returning we get is a boolean okay so if you get if you choose yes accept so it will get yes you know true if you cancel then 
it is no so let's store as a boolean property boolean confirmation okay and now we have the data okay we have the value of that user confirmation so let me put a one condition and inside the confirmation if it is true then we are trying to perform delete on then load data if it is not then nothing we have to do okay so let me format that's it okay let me try to build so that we can make sure everything is fine as expected so build succeed okay let me zoom in so will succeed also see and then what need to do we have to run this application okay so let me try to run so this is my demo uh, demo application so it will just overwrite because see this is a emulator so it's find the emulator then it will try to deploy in this emulator so it will just overwrite that old one okay see that's gone and now my our our application is trying to open okay okay now see there's a no data okay that is expected okay so let me fix that one because see uh, actually uh, we using you know uh, this api okay this is api base url but this api does not exist so as of now now i have api of this one okay so let me copy this one because i am just getting data from my you know hosting api okay let me save and now try to run Oh, this is don't worry about that this is actually not we are using this is for sampling we be actually showing in this series like how we can get the data like inside that collection or you know direct variable so now see we have data okay and now when you write right swap okay when you try to delete see it's getting over here just debug and now you are getting that power confirmation like whatever we put so if you cancel and see it is false let me zoom in okay and then continue nothing should happen but when you try to delete permanently continue then yes definitely see I call it to that service then okay it is should be gone so it's gone so that's it so for this session it is enough for let me okay yeah so in next session we'll implement actually edit functionality so in this series it is still pending lot of things okay we achieve that add list add delete but yeah still edit functionality is pending so also the how can reusable component those part are still pending and also pending for you know many things is pending so keep watching keep tuning and don't forget to subscribe share and like